history has any message for us, almost 80% of the products we'll be making five years from now are yet to be completely developed. Many, of course, are already in the development process, and we start new projects every year to be sure that we have a steady stream of new products when we need them. So it seems appropriate to begin this film where many of our products begin, in the research laboratories. I'm at the Spurry Research Center in Sudbury, Massachusetts. Here and at many other company locations around the world, Men and women are working hard on research and development programs, programs that will lead to tomorrow's products. Let me give you an example of our commitment to these activities. In just the past five years, we've invested almost $850 million in research and development. Why have we made this investment? because as a high technology company, our continued success depends upon it. Our growth over the years has been largely from the products developed by Sperry people in our own laboratories. We have a phrase that I think accurately reflects the character and purpose of our company, one that you're familiar with, making machines do more so that man can do more. We make important products that serve our customers' needs. We're in dynamic and growing markets. We're problem solvers. Our customers are going to continue to demand more efficient machines to handle more complex problems. And when they do, we'll be there to answer those demands. Now, why am I so confident about the future of our company? Because the products we make are on the leading edge of technology. As you'll see, they're innovative, they're reliable, and they're necessary, and they get results. We're in so many markets, and we make so many products that it's impossible to show them all in this film, but I would like you to see just a few examples of, of what I mean. Now here you're in a Spurry Univac laboratory near St. Paul, Minnesota, and you're looking at one of the latest advances in computer technology. Let me give you an idea of the significance of this development. Just one of these tiny memory chips has the same number of electronic components as you would have found on our first commercial computer, the Univac 1. And incidentally, that Univac 1 computer had 5,000 vacuum tubes, which took lots of electricity and generated lots of heat. This is one of the most important advances in farm machinery developed in the last century, the TR-70 twin rotor combine from Spurry, New Holland. With it, farmers can feed more people without planting more seeds. The Spurry division is using its advanced engineering know-how to design systems that simulate real events under controlled conditions. At the National Maritime Research Center at Kings Point, New York, a Spurry-built simulator uses a computer to create and move images of ships over giant screens. Here, a ship's crew can sail and dock a vessel in any harbor in the world without leaving the room. And in Clearwater, Florida, a simulator creates a variety of naval combat conditions. A crew can be tested on their reactions, their responses monitored, and recorded for later analysis. But our concern goes far beyond testing and simulation. Now, you're looking at the real world. This is a super tanker which can carry as much as a half a million tons of oil. There's a Spurry computerized collision avoidance system on board, and it shows the position, the speed, and course of as many as 40 ships for ranges up to 25 miles. With this system, ships get where they're going safely. This is the United States Space Shuttle, operating at the leading edge of man's aspirations as well as his technology. The successful descent and landing of the spacecraft last year was the result of extensive research and simulation work performed by Spurry Flight Systems. In addition, a Spurry Univac computer in Houston, Texas was used, and still is, 
to help train flight and ground crew personnel in all phases of the shuttle's operation. Now, our products meet and often exceed our customers' demands for performance, whether those demands require great speed, uh, precise accuracy, or rugged dependability. Our customers know that they can depend on us to help them get their job done. Testing a product under extreme conditions is one way to ensure its reliability. In New Holland, Pennsylvania, our people are putting a windrower through its paces. Crop harvesting is demanding, and we know it. And that's why in Zedelgem, Belgium, this 8080 combine just off the production line is being tortured with shocks and bounces. We make excessive demands before our customers do. When we say that our products are reliable, we know what we're talking about. A Spur Univac computer helps make the public transportation system in Hamburg, West Germany, a dependable way to get around. Because of our computer system, hundreds of thousands of people will take the subway train every day without worrying about schedules or waiting for tickets. And Spur Univac helps run the buses and the ferries in Hamburg, too. A few yards from the Von Speck Gartenstadt subway station in Hamburg is the Otto Mailing House, one of West Germany's largest. Otto sends out its catalogs. Otto's customers send in their orders, which are entered into a Spur Univac computer through one of these 300 Uniscope terminals. The computer also handles invoicing and stock control activities. And another of our products makes mail delivery a little more reliable. In the United Kingdom, every location has a postal code number. These men are typing the code on the envelopes magnetically. A postcode translator, built by Sperry, reads the code and routes the mail. Simple and reliable. You are looking at one of the largest Spur Univac computer installations in Europe, the Air France Central Reservation System in Valbonne. 3,000 terminals around the world are tied into this center, which can handle an average of 180,000 inquiries per hour. Whether you make a reservation on Fifth Avenue in New York City or on the Champs-Élysées in Paris, wherever there is an Air France office, your question and your answer go through Valbonne quickly, in fact, very quickly, real time and reliably. We're at the John F. Kennedy Airport in New York. Every day, hundreds of planes leave here for cities all over the world. But no matter where they go, these planes have one thing in common, Sperry. Our computer systems are used for passenger reservations, cargo and baggage handling, scheduling, and a host of other airline activities. Our autopilots fly as standard equipment on almost all major aircraft, and our hydraulic systems help control the flaps, the ailerons, and the landing gears. That's why when I'm in an airport, I feel at home. Our products are necessary and they're practical and they're being put to use every day around the world in literally hundreds of important ways. As I see it, this movement of Sperry New Holland equipment typifies what I'm referring to. There are Sperry customers at the receiving end of every one of these shipments. This activity, this meshing of resources is just one purpose, to get our products into the hands of our customers whose exacting needs we have to meet, and we do. This is the world's largest truck, the Tarix Titan, 60 feet long and 25 feet high. Incredibly, because of Sperry Vickers hydraulics, the Titan can be steered almost as easily as your family car. Here you see it hauling iron ore for the Kaiser Steel Corporation in the western United States, up to 350 tons for giant load. For something much more gentle, consider the effect of Sperry Vickers pneumatics on these Lambeth Ware dinner plates. We're in a Royal Dalton China factory in Stoke-on-Trent, England, and with the help of Sperry Vickers, the plates are being ground smooth and flat, delicately. 
Earlier this year, as more than 500 Clearwater, Florida employees looked on, Spur Univac celebrated a milestone with an important customer. The event noted the delivery of the 1,000th UYK-20 computer to the United States Navy. This rugged, dependable computer is a Navy standard mini computer for all shipboard applications. Spurry Flight Systems is a recognized leader in business aviation. The division's avionics systems, including autopilots, air data, and navigation equipment are on board a wide variety of business aircraft, ranging from jets to helicopters. This railroad train speeding through the French countryside is helped on its way by Spur Univac. The French National Railway has 300,000 freight cars and carries more than 625 million passengers each year. And it depends on us to get the right cars and the right people to the right place at the right time. All around the United States, the delivery of social and health services provided by local and national government agencies is made more efficient, and effective, and fair with the help of Spur Univac computer systems. When government is our customer, the needs we meet affect every one of us. We're providing the tools our customers need to solve their problems, and we're working hard on new ideas and new methods. We're helping to create change. We're innovators. Spurry designed computerized traffic control systems are helping to unsnarl traffic congestion on major highways all across the United States. The New Jersey Turnpike is one of the nation's most heavily traveled roads. Here, a Spurry system measures traffic density and automatically reroutes traffic when congestion builds in an area for any reason. It can also change posted speed limits and compute the quickest route to an accident scene for police and emergency vehicles. The sky over an airport is often as congested as any turnpike and the ARCH-3 system from Spur Univac was designed to deal with that problem. Air traffic controllers are provided with continuous, positive, and easy identification of the aircraft under their control. With ARCH-3, controllers can concentrate on the job at hand, getting the planes down safely. Put red polypropylene pellets into this plastic injection molding machine and you get red plastic cups. Change the mold and you can make anything from children's toys to parts for automobiles. The Spurry Vickers KG valve built into these machines ensures a quality product. It's so innovative that it has just received the British Council of Industrial Design Award for engineering excellence. A visit to a doctor's office in Brussels can take on new significance. The interpretation of a cardiogram has been made incomparably quicker and easier because of a Spurry Univac computer. The recorded readings are transferred to tape. The tape is fed into the computer, and an analysis is made and relayed instantly back to the doctor's office in any of three languages. At IHC Holland, ships are built in a new way. The drafting instruments move quickly and efficiently, as do the flame cutters. But there's no one in sight, because the operations are controlled by a Spur Univac computer miles away in Rotterdam. Port and starboard both cut at the same time. Three months to build an entire ship. Spur gives a decidedly new look to a very traditional business. One of the hardest jobs on the farm used to be manually picking up bales of hay. Today, through the innovation of Spurry New Holland, one man with an automatic bale wagon can handle more hay in a day than a crew of men could manage by hand. With the bale wagon, an experienced operator can load and stack up to 2,500 bales in an average day. What do the products we've just seen have in common? They represent markets that will continue to grow. They address our customers' needs and the needs of society at large. They underscore our commitment to make machines do more. 
And they used technology that, for the most part, did not exist five years ago. But these products just didn't happen. They were a result of planning. Planning, of course, is not unique to Sperry. Our competitors are also looking at the future. If we're going to succeed, we must be smarter than our competitors. We must plan better, and we must be more thorough. And we must be right. For if we fail to seize opportunities, we may not have a second chance. Planning is a continuous process. It begins with Spurry determining precisely where we want to be five years and more into the future. It includes studies of the economic, the technical, social, and political environment that we expect to encounter. We look ahead into our markets and we try to put ourselves in our competitor's shoes to see what they see. We weigh Spurry's strengths and, and our weaknesses, and we try to anticipate challenges. More than anything, we look for opportunities. And with all of that information in hand, we make our judgments, and then we act. Planning is an intricate and demanding process. It is also our most reliable guide to the future. You know, the 21st century is only a little more than 20 years away, and that's not a great deal of time, but a great deal will happen. And Sperry will be very much a part of what happens. So we've come a long way together, and we have a long way to go together. It promises to be an exciting journey.